What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. We have a special guest, mm -hmm. Austin. You guys have seen him before. He's no one new, but he yep. doesn't like to come out with us. No, but that's not... <laughs> I, didn't, what, what I don't it? get the invites that often. You don't get the invites. No. no. All right. Well, no. we are at a place <laughs> called Dick's. I brought no gear. I brought the GoPro. That's it. So we need tackle. We need a new line or new line. We need probably is going to get a combo. Gear. And gear. Uh, we're going to get, get some, gear. some gear. But yeah, yeah. like lures and stuff like that. But we're going to yeah. get the Guggen Mondo kit. That's if they have it. Let's see what they got inside. Uh, I'll meet so right you. Right now, the bait casters don't have the greatest setups. Yeah. I don't want the American Hero. And I just definitely don't want that big caster. Well, P. Fluger, that's a great brand. I don't know how much This is, is 160 bucks. That's new, that's pricey. I was honestly looking at the lose match one. I, I mean, for the price that it is, it's 90 bucks, which isn't bad. This one's 70 bucks, but it, this thing yeah. feels real light. The I reason know. about the match one, it's heavy. It feels good. It has a really nice reel. So... I think that might be the move because all of these are like, this is like for trout, dude. It's a very ultralight setup. Oh, this right here, Tyler. So I'm not this sure. Is a, kind of a light pole right here. Yeah, but I want something branded. These sides, like this is 70 bucks. This is 50 bucks. I don't want something that's kind of a piece of junk. Yeah. I think we're going to go with the match one. Yeah. So we're going to take a look at the baits and we're going to show you guys exactly what we're going to get. Uh, I don't really like recording in the stores too much, so. Alrighty, guys, what is up? So we're here with Austin. We just came out of Dick's, and I, I'm not as much, I don't, I don't record much in the store because, honestly, there wasn't much of an option. Fishing over here has been just crazy. People have been stealing everything. Not really stealing, but buying, stealing it from us. What I went with today is the Lose Match 1. It's upside down, but you guys get the gist. And, uh, yeah, so this will be a very nice stick or a pole to uh, run with. So we'll leave that there because that's yeah. not the main thing about this video. What me and Austin both did was we're doing Guggen Box, Guggen Mono Box versus Mystery Tackle Box. Now, I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna get more out of this. I also did get more so, some uh, Bandito Bugs, my favorite trailers. Uh, I'm not really much of the uh, saucy swimmer type. So if you guys got these bandito bugs around you, uh, pick them up, put them on a trailer for a chatter bait. You can even use them for a spinner bait. Those are my go-to, absolutely. Bass love them, they love the trail on them, and uh, that's what I big, highly recommend. No, I forgot my so knife, do you, wanna, do you have your knife? Well, just uh, use my keys. Okay. So how, which one do you wanna? We'll wanna... start off with the mystery tackle box, right. and right. then uh, from there, what we'll do is go to the Guggen Mono kit. Okay. okay. And we'll show you guys exactly what we get. Now, the mystery tackle box, how, they tell you absolutely how, how much, nothing that's in there. This mystery tackle box right here from Dick's retails for $20. And the Mondo kit, you can get those same thing at Dick's for $30. But they do tell you exactly what comes in here and you get a pretty much crankbait, you get a saucy swimmer, some hooks, frogs, a spinner bait, and then you get a face shield. And uh, cool thing about these is with the uh, hooks, they uh, those switch out for sometimes a jig and one other thing that I don't know of because I've never purchased it myself. So mystery tackle box, it's nothing new that you guys have seen on this channel. You've seen the uh, trout kit the last time, and uh, that was really cool. What and then got? what you get what for got? the up top is that, now if me and Austin get a good bass and we get something that could be a keeper, what we can do is post uh, post a picture with the bass on here and try see if we uh, try and see if we can get a uh, winning fish. And then uh, I don't know exactly if they just go for a shout out. You get your paperwork, I don't wanna see exactly what's in here yet. Okay, so I got, that, that's not bad. Lipless. What, what would you? That looks nice. Yeah, yeah lipless that's crank. A good one actually. That's not bad. Very big. It is bigger for my preference, but it's something we could definitely try and use. So then we got some nice, uh, nice hooks. Some nice bass hooks. Same thing. A little bit bigger than um, anything that I'd really use. The glare is so bad over here. Okay. And then we got the weirdest spinner bait I've ever seen in my life. Um, this is uh called knuckle bait. Dude, that's weird. <laughs> that's what? weird. We'll see how this thing got, works. I mean, with this ball right here, this little fake crystal, I don't know how that's going to work. And then you get your, obviously, your sticker from every every uh, box. Then we got some nice craws, actually. These are uh, they're nice purple craws. Um, nothing too crazy. I want to try and hide that. Yeah, 
nice purple cross. I'm actually going to pull one out for you guys and let you see what we're working with. This isn't my best bass box, I'm not going to lie. But uh, the X, colors on X this zone. aren't bad. Never heard of it. But, um, yeah, let's cover that light. And then, I don't know, Austin, I think your mystery taco box might be better than mine. I don't know, man. Because I... this one's a little weak. And then we just got some nice worms. The uh, color on those are nice. Uh, those would be good for clear water. Uh, yeah, the tail on these is a little wild. Austin, let's get right into right, yours because so... I don't want this to be too, too long. All right, uh, all right. Holy lip. Well, this kind of looks like a knockoff. I'm going to let Yeah, gonna yeah, lie. yeah. It, it, but, I don't know. Show the camera, though. You got to. No. I'll have to take it. Yeah, right there. That's perfect. Fat, what is it? Fat point. That's a, that's a that, weird one. That's yeah, a that's, huge yeah, that's, lip. Uh, What's the dive on that, does it say? Uh, here, I'll try to find the yeah, dive. You show them. All right. So what else? Now this this actually looks pretty good. This is a. Um... Oh, the glare is terrible. Yeah, yeah, you gotta hold the That's... cameras right here. So you gotta yeah. kind of cover it up. Oh yeah, you go. You're you're better. I'm better. I'm going, I'm going over here. All right. So Austin's got a uh, regular. Uh, White spinner bait, nothing too fancy. Uh, that, that, amazing that, that baits, but that's from Carl's. Good. That's this is from Carl's yeah. amazing bait. So that's actually a very good pickup. Yeah, this looks good. And then Austin, you got this some hooks. Good. I'm assuming there's some regular bass hooks, and that's exactly yeah. what they are. I mean, if you guys aren't using those for bass, then I don't know what you're doing. But he's probably got five hooks in there. Um, like his mystery tackle box sticker, and then uh, some color, some weird. This is a uh, riot baits with their worms, but you guys can't see it out of that bag just with how dark this is. I mean, look at how, this is the end of the bait. How weird is this? I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna work, but uh, maybe I feel like this is something to where that piece should have been ripped off. I don't know. Riot, if you're watching this, let me know. Because... <laughs> All right, Austin, I don't know. Oh, Austin got some uh, nice trailers too, yum baits. Um, so what these are is uh, they uh, have scent on them. So uh, these will be very good for uh, pretty much any species because of the scent. I mean, it can pick up anything. Colorful, too. Obviously, uh, big like fish. Flakes. But uh, yeah, they got the beautiful flakes, flakes in them. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's real dark. Yeah, but you can see the glitter and stuff shine. Um, those yum baits are actually going to probably uh, do Austin very well. Yeah. So that's Austin's this, this mystery tackle box. Is this is, this is, this is the best. Uh, that, that looks the best. Best piece out of everything because, I, think so. I mean, Carl's, they make great, great gear. So let's get right Back. into our Guggen box. I think this is the worst, though. That oh, yeah, absolutely. this is not <laughs> absolutely. That was That's, that. I don't. This thing. Uh, yeah. Something wild. <laughs> you can do yours first. Yep. I, while I'm doing it, though, open up yours. All right. So we know what we're getting in this Guggen box, and uh, this is the first time where Austin's going to be introduced yeah, to never... uh, Guggen. So it's going to be pretty cool. So what they do is they have pretty much the same box as uh, as um, Mr. Tackle Box. It just that's I don't I don't know if they work together or something like that. But you get your face shield in every box, and you get your Guggen Squad sticker in every box. So Austin's going to be able to add a nice sticker to the back of his window if yeah. he so chooses. So you got your awesome Guggen bait hooks. I mean these things are these things are very nice. They're very sturdy. These are actually very good hooks that I haven't been able to uh, do too much with. So then you get your average uh spinner bait uh this is actually pretty much the same exact stuff that i got in the last one so uh it'll be cool to have that doubled up nice nice lip crank so it's that'll be cool one. this is a very it's nice a one. one this is like something where small mouth will go crazy on okay and then oh, you yeah. get your frog uh yeah annual frog in every box I've gotten this one. This is my third frog. So if Austin has a different one, maybe he'll want to trade me. And then you get your awesome saucy swimmers. But uh, in this case, I really don't need the saucy swimmers. I have so well, many, and I don't have to jig with that. So I'll be going well, on the spinner bait. Well, I'm going to tell you something, Tyler. What's that, bud? I got the same exact box. Same exact thing? <laughs> same exact thing. Same exact thing. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even joking. <laughs> okay. So times two, Austin yep. got the same exact box that's dude that's good though that's wild but they these are good stuff. for you for a Guggen starter this is great you want yeah. to put this on the back of your truck yeah and you want to well. check out your face shield yeah open up okay open it up. 
So I also got the same exact box. Um, very common when it comes to uh, comes to that in this case. So I'll let them show you guys the uh, the beautiful and only face mask yep. that Mind Google has provided us in these Mondo kits. Let's see. What do we got here? Oh, that's cool, man. Show the cameraman. Let's see. Got the Google logo. Oh, the glare, man. Yeah, the glare is brutal. That, Here, so there's the, the uh, face right shield. There. That's the uh, action very right nice. there, Guggen Squad. Nice. I mean, it's very light material. Yeah, but, it feels, um, feels comfortable. But though. it's good. It's good. It's a yeah. very comfy thing. So overall, we got the Guggen, um, I can't, Bandito box. Yeah. My mono kit, my uh, mystery tackle box, Austin's yeah. Guggen, uh, his tackle box. Those yeah. are his boxes. And then we got, once again, the match one. And uh, I don't know what Austin's running, but uh, yeah. So I'm gonna line up this pole. We're gonna get ready, and then we're gonna go straight and Austin hit the wall. Here is gonna try and put us on a little secret spot. Yeah. That's all that we're showing, and we're gonna go down there and uh, see what see what Austin's talking about. See if it's a hit or miss. So this will be spot it has number potential. one. Has you potential. Know, it has potential. Alrighty. It has potential. So we just lined this bad boy all up. We're looking good. We're gonna start off with the spinner. And this is all we're gonna bring over here for this spot. If not, I can run back and grab something. But uh, this isn't a spot that we're gonna be staying at for a long time. So uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, let's get it. We're pulling up, right? Oh yeah. Let's get it, dude. <laughs> all right, Austin says there's potential here. So uh, I like the idea. We're gonna sneak under this little yellow spot. My hat looks so crooked. Bleh. Ah, whatever. All right, let's go. Look at this. Nice little, nice little walking trail right by the train tracks. <laughs> All righty, let's see what we're gonna, let's see what we're up against here, dude. Hopefully we can uh, cast and, like you said, let's get a nice fish. Fish, Austin. Austin said this is supposed to be full of water. It is, dude. Usually this whole thing is full of water up to like, like so here. We got that little patch over there. You want to go try it? Yeah, might as well. All let's right, try it. Let's, do it. let's do it. On our way back now, the man himself. Put us on a uh, spot that had no water, so it's probably like little, uh, little. What would you call that spot? I'm, I can't think right now. Uh, Mark? Mark? Like an overflow. It's an overflow spot. Whenever the water gets too high, it'll push over here. But um, not the case. Water, like I said, has been super low. So. What when water? there's low water, <laughs> well, the Blackstone water, dude. So yeah, it's dude. been super low. So um, obviously why there'd be no water there. I don't know. We're going to go try a different spot. Let's get on them. There's water, Austin. Oh, we're not going down there? Gotcha. We're fishing, bud. Well, a little... Secret spot. Little secret spot. It's real shallow though. Yeah. Dude, oh my god. Yeah, wow. she's uh she's she's a little shallow. Alright, well you wanna go Yeah, around? we'll go to his we'll go to his spot. We'll go around here. Yeah. Dude, that that is weird. <laughs> That's <though>. weird, man. <laughs> we'll try it though, hey. You never know. Yeah. It's not really scented or nothing, right? No it is. It, it is? is? Yeah, you can you can we'll, we'll try it. A weird bait. You never know. Are you yeah. gonna Texas rig it? Yeah. Well, obviously I gotta. Yeah. So, the only problem with doing stuff like this is that sometimes you don't get the right location. And we've tried a few, and the waters have just been so bad to where they're so low, and it's not giving us anything for. Uh, it's not giving us anything for uh, fish-wise to really attack. And it's been tough because, you know, we're, we're trying to get out there and fish, but it's just with everything that's been going on with, you know, how the water is. Dude, Austin's trying to tell me something and he's all the way over there and I, I can't hear what he's saying. But um, we gotta bend these hooks out a little bit. No idea what Austin's trying to say, but if anything, I want to use the frog. Oh, Jesus, dude. And try it. Maybe try the canal. But, um, 
Yeah, you know, we've had really, really good luck with everything that's been going on, and now it's just really tough because, you know, oh, shoot. It's been really tough with this low water. We've had slim to no rain whatsoever. So it's just like, at that point, it's like, you know, what do I do? Because there's some times where I can't go out every day on the kayak, and that's just been a part that's been hurting me. Austin's making his way back over here. But um, it's been tough, you know. This is the most challenging time this whole year. What's up, bud? What type of bathroom do you have to use? Jesus, dude. Okay. So that means we gotta go, right? Well, I mean, I just I don't think we're gonna catch him.